What's good, people? Uncle Hotep back at it again. How y'all doing? Otto Warmer's family. You know, he Otto was the guy, North Korea. The he got rest, uh, he got locked up. Like he put his hand on the sign. You know, he, he, I guess he was going to take it home for a silver a souvenir or some dumb shit. You know, over there they don't play that shit. <laughs> put his ass in fifteen years hard labor. And uh, he ends up getting sick over there. And they sent him home. And he ends up dying when he comes home. Um, now, Trump went to Korea and talked to Kim Jong-un. And uh, Kim told him he didn't know anything about it. That's, I'm on the route. Good friend Stephen A. Crockett Jr. The, the Otto's family has come out publicly shamed uh, President Trump for siding with... Uh, Kim Jong-un, who claimed he didn't know their son was being mistreated during his incarceration. You know, they, they got all the, all the words here, evil regime, and <laughs> Kim and his evil regime are, are responsible for unimaginable cruelty and in, inhumanity. No excuses or lavish praise could change that. You know, he was arrested for a horrible crime and still he'll probably get a poster while visiting Pyongyang in, in January 2016. Oh, 15 years, yeah. Hard labor. Died a year later. I don't know, you know, first of all, I'm not buying, you know, he was probably uh, uh, an agent. He was probably working for the Alphabet Boys. Let's be honest here. Like, who comes from, where is he from? Where is the, the family? Cincinnati, Ohio? I find, hard, I find it hard to believe some, a white man from uh, Cincinnati, Ohio was like, woke up one day in college and was like, yo, man, I got to get to North Korea and, and study abroad. <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Like, I'm going to go visit uh, North Korea. Nigga, please. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, that's, that's how the... Uh, you have to think. That's how the... Uh, the alphabet boys, that's how they get agents over in the countries. Is just like that. College kids. They eat that shit up. Now about would Kim Jong-un, he's you have to imagine he's the president of you know the country, leader of the country. Would he have known about that? I'm not so sure he would have. You know, let's like he's got Kim Jong Un. Imagine the the, the the place you work at. They're the boss. Would he know of everything, or he or she know about everything that goes on in the company? I don't think so. So why would Kim Jong Un know everything that's going on, especially about this auto guy? They probably got tens of thousands of prisoners over there. I'm sure. Um, <laughs> and just because he's American doesn't mean like he's the most important. Thing in their eyes, he could just have been another prisoner, a guy they probably suspected of spying, and then he was trying to disrespect their name. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I, Kim said he didn't know if one year was 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 tortured. Like, what do y'all think? Uh, he probably just told him, "Man, find out is he a spy or not." And they do what they gotta do. He don't know how they, they do it. I mean, he probably can. I don't know. I, I wouldn't put it that far, man. Yeah, I, I don't even think it was, you know, until they start talking about it and if Obama was trying to get him home. I don't think Obama tried to get him home. I thought, uh, or when did he go in? January 2016. Now, that was the beginning of Trump's general. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't think it's too far to far fetched to say Kim Jong un had no idea what they were doing with this guy. I don't think it's far fetched. I mean this is a big country. <laughs> it's a country we're talking about, you know, and him to be omnipotent and know everything that goes on is like, come on man. 
let's be for real. It's not with this with this evil regime. <laughs> oh man, this is this takes the cake. Anyway, I'm out. <laughs>